Thousands of people have gathered in Jerusalem for the city's 10th annual gay pride parade, held amid heavy security after a history of attacks on LGBT members and supporters left parade goers concerned for their safety. We are here for the Jerusalem gay parade. Uh, in my opinion, the most important parade of the year in Israel. It's a place where we didn't win yet. And we come from love. We just want people to accept us, uh, to understand that we have the right to love. Much of the hostility towards Israel's gay community has come from ultra-Orthodox Jews. Throughout the parade, a small group of ultra-Orthodox Jews held a council demonstration in one of the religious neighborhoods. In 2005, an ultra-Orthodox Jewish man stabbed and wounded participants in the gay march, and in 2006, widespread rioting led to a temporary suspension until 2008 of pride parades in the city. Jerusalem doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be a liberal city uh, in order for to tolerance to be, uh, to be a reality. So even, 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 even though it is a conservative city, it, it will remain a conservative city. It doesn't mean that it's not tolerant. It's a lot more tolerant towards gays and towards everybody. The conservatism of Jerusalem is in sharp contrast to the liberalism of Tel Aviv, which was declared the number one gay tourist destination of 2011. This comes after concerted efforts on the part of Israeli authorities to promote Israel as an island of tolerance in the largely Islamic Middle East.